My name is Pavel Jendrzejko. I'm a designated driver in, in this exploratory um, expedition. And it just so happens that I have been collaborating with two philosophers, Professor Darius Kubok and Professor Martin Fabianski, on a project that uh, has proven to be um, of particular interest and importance to all three of us. See, the COVID has uh, resulted in the fact that our familiar spaces, such as home, have largely become defamiliarized. We no longer think of the home as the place to which we return. We start to think of the home as the place in which we are locked. Professor Kubok concentrates on the grassroot lifestyles of the Greeks in the islands that are classified as the blue zones of longevity. He's going to try and see how the grassroots tendencies in the lifestyles of the Greeks correspond to the Greek philosophy of the antiquity. Well, the second part of the project involves the Thai forest tradition, something that Martin Fabianski is going to deal with, exploring how the philosophical concept of the Thai Buddhism incorporates the idea of non-human subjectivities and that allow us to understand that every atom that belongs to me also belongs to you and this is where I come in because as an Americanist I'll be looking at how the philosophy of Swedenborg, uh, how the philosophy of Thomas de Quincey and the philosophy of Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau and Margaret Fuller, how all that creates a certain intellectual formula that gives rise to a very different transcendentalist concept of the human relation to the universe. Myself, my own role is going to be to explore the philosophical underpinnings of such phenomena as, as free Luft's live. Well, apart from being an academic, I'm also an ocean-going captain, and I do have quite a lot of experiences crossing the Atlantic or sailing in, uh, in the Herr Gordon in Sweden, which actually is the Garden of the Isles, Herr Gordon. Now, Every single person in Sweden and most people in Norway have got the ambition of having a small boat, of exploring the beauty of the Garden of the Islands, to feel the heaving of the sea, to feel the wind, to smell the aroma of the islands, to be there in silence or with friends in it, not outside of it, not as opposed to it. And those three ideas come together to demonstrate to us how much we have learned, thanks to COVID, that as opposed to this mentality before COVID, when we tried to contain nature, thou shalt rule the earth and subdue it, this changes pretty radically. And what we need to explore is how much people have learned from the COVID experience.